Finding the best DSLR camera can be a pain. There are so many options on the market, and you don't know which will be the best for you and your needs. Well, in this video, we break down the top 5 best DSLR cameras on the market this year based on price versus performance, and situations they will be used in. So, if you're interested in finding out which DSLR camera will be the best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We always keep the description up to date with information we may not get a chance to mention in this video. We also update the description down below with links to find the best price on each product. So for the most up to date information along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First on our list is Canon EOS 5D Mark IV, our choice for the best Canon DSLR camera. Canon is undoubtedly the most notable brand in the world of DSLR cameras, so naturally, People want to get the best Canon DSLR camera. It's very hard to pinpoint who is the winner in that regard, but based on the overall price performance, as well as functionality, EOS 5D Mark IV is the model that really stands out. From the visual standpoint, the camera itself looks very dated. On first sight, one might say that they are looking at a camera from the last century, but luckily, that's just their visual impression. When you look under the hood, you will quickly realize how powerful this little camera really is. This camera has a full 30.4 MP frame and a special CMOS sensor that heavily promotes versatile shooting. You can easily make continuous shots at a 7 FPS rate. Many other Canon models are slightly subpar in this particular aspect. Sometimes, it may take ages for you to get the chance to make another shot. Luckily, that issue has been resolved here. The coverage itself is pretty good, and expanded vertical coverage, in particular, is amazing. An AF system with 61 points and 41 cross points will ensure that you always have the best focus while making your favorite shots, and videos. Video quality is truly top notch. People from Canon have really nailed it in that regard. Not only will you get videos with incredibly high resolutions, but you will also get videos with exceptional clarity. If you compare the quality of these videos and the quality of videos produced by other Canon cameras, you will quickly realize how superior these recordings really are. You can easily record DCI 4K videos with a steady 30 FPS rate, which is well above the default industry standards. But of course, even though EOS 5D Mark IV has plenty of upsides, it does have some downsides as well. For instance, LPF, low path filter, may represent an issue for some people. Some manufacturers remove this feature by default nowadays, but Canon, still, doesn't. It's not a major concern, but if you want your shots to be exceptionally sharp, sadly, you won't get them here. Another flaw is that EOS 5D Mark IV has no tilt screen at all. It's quite surprising that, in the world of smartphones, this feature was not implemented. Sadly, Canon somehow forgot to add it. Again, it's not a big deal, but it reduces the overall flexibility. The camera has no EVF either, so you will struggle while shooting and recording in the dark. Still, when we put things into proper perspective, EOS 5D Mark IV is easily Canon's best camera so far, and you should absolutely give it a try. With a price of $3,099, it's definitely not a cheap option, but if you have the money, you should absolutely go for it. Second on our list is Nikon D5600, our choice for a great DSLR camera for beginners. Not every DSLR camera is good for beginners, especially people who never had these cameras before. In such situations, people should always look for solutions with very gentle learning curves. Even better, they should look for models that have no learning curve whatsoever. You think that's impossible? Well, Nikon D5600 will certainly challenge that belief. The best thing about Nikon D5600 is that you can make outstanding shots and recordings without any previous experience. The camera will do the entire job on its own, and if you're not satisfied with the shots, you can always tweak the basic parameters manually to improve them further. This kind of environment is pretty much ideal for any DSLR newcomer. Thanks to a broad ISO range and a big high resolution sensor, the quality of your shots will indeed be one of a kind. D5600 is a universal camera that you can use anywhere. Sunny areas, dark areas, rainy conditions, it can cope with all of them. The default contrasts are truly breathtaking, but you can improve them even further with special interchangeable Nikkor lenses. D5600 also has a full SnapBridge support. With this service, you can instantly transfer your favorite photos to the cloud. 
Once they're uploaded, you can access them from any device, even your smartphone. SnapBridge even allows you to use your phone as a backup camera as well, which is particularly amazing. With all these upsides in mind, some downsides have to be noted as well. The first one is that the camera works slightly better in low-light conditions. While common knowledge suggests that low-light conditions are optimal for high-quality shooting, most modern cameras will produce equally good photos in any condition. D5600, sadly, doesn't do that. Another thing that you should bear in mind is that D5600 is, technically, an improved version of D5500. Yes, it's much more user-friendly, and it has some brand new features, like SnapBridge support, but the core features are the same. So if you were hoping for major innovations, you'll have to lower your expectations here. Even the prices are nearly identical, D5600 will cost you $596, while D5500's initial price was $600. Having all this in mind though, Nikon 5600 is undoubtedly a great DSLR camera, nobody can deny that. You will rarely find models that are so open to newcomers, and the models that have a price that is as affordable as this one are even rarer. If you've never used a DSLR camera before, Nikon 5600 is certainly an ideal first choice. Third on our list is Nikon D3400, our choice for the best DSLR camera under $500. While D5600 is the best camera for beginners, D3400 is the best budget-friendly solution. It's also the best camera that you can get under $500 by far. You can get it for an average price of $390. D3400 is exactly what one might expect from an entry-level DSLR camera. The 24 megapixel sensor is just as great as many top crop sensor cameras on the market. One could say that this is a highlight of this camera. The camera itself is not that impressive though. With 5 FPS and only 11 autofocus points, the camera is far from being exceptional. Still, thanks to an impressive autofocus addition, you will still get a fairly decent solution in that regard. Just don't expect any miracles. Just like the previous model, D3400 also has a SnapBridge functionality that allows you to transfer all of your shots to a smartphone as you record them. SnapBridge will have its limits though, as D3400 doesn't have an integrated Wi-Fi support, but it will do its job well nonetheless. The sensitivity range of this camera is ISO 100 to 25600, which is a huge upgrade compared to the native ISO 12800 range of its predecessor, D330. You will also get a processing engine that can handle some pretty effective burst shooting and full HD video recording pretty much simultaneously. The most common picture controls are very easy to access, and you can use mode dial if you want additional effects like super vivid and toy camera. The camera really shines when it comes to portraits. The skin tones in your photos will be ultra realistic. And you will get some beautifully blurred backgrounds as well. Some previous Nikon cameras had slight issues with portraits, but luckily, they've managed to resolve them with this model. The best thing about D3400 is that it's so simple and straightforward to use. You don't need a lot of experience to create vibrant, breathtaking photos that will last forever. You can do it easily with a single press of a button. Nikon perfected this concept with D5600, but D3400 is another great solution in that regard. So not only is D3400 a great budget-friendly camera, but it's also a great solution for less experienced individuals. Overall, you won't find a better camera in this price range. Many cheap models are slightly inferior to their high-end counterparts, and there is a reason why they are so cheap. Although even D3400 falls back in that regard, it's a very functional camera that can easily compete with more expensive solutions. If you don't have a lot of money but you want a great DSLR camera, Nikon D3400 will be your best bet. If you're interested in updated pricing or going more in-depth on some features of any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. And if you're interested in staying up to date with the best products on the market, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Fourth on our list is Canon EOS 80D, our choice for the best value per dollar DSLR camera. While Nikon D3400 was a perfect cost-effective DSLR camera, this guy from Canon is pretty much the best high-end solution that you can find. When people want exceptional value, they won't waste money to achieve that. And when it comes to EOS 80D, you can be sure that your investment will certainly pay off. EOS 80D is a very dynamic camera that utilizes the full potential of precision, power, and functionality. It's also a very good prototype of how an outstanding camera should look and act like. Out of all top-notch features, Intelligent View is the one that really stands out. 
This feature will bring the best aspects of DSLR photography with each and every use. At the same time, it will raise the overall experience to a whole new level. Intelligent Viewfinder can display various different positions of information, including AF points and AF mode. Some of these features are hidden by default, but nonetheless, you can turn them on manually. With a 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor, this camera will capture images in exceptionally high resolutions. Moreover, thanks to highly refined individual pixels, you will get some pretty high ISO speeds. The values are 16,000 for images and 24,000 for raw videos. You can say that Canon really nailed it in that regard. Unlike many similar models, EOS 80D is incredibly quiet. No matter what you do, you won't hear any noise whatsoever. It's a small addition, but it's certainly a feature that can make your user experience even more enjoyable. Does EOS 80D have any flaws? It sure does. After all, no camera is perfect, and even the best products have their downsides. One major flaw that stands out here is that it's definitely not geared towards beginners. While the previous two models were very newbie friendly, this one should only be used by experienced individuals. Also, the body is quite big, and the whole unit is very heavy. You will get used to it after a while, but you will definitely need some time to do it. Another possible distraction is that you may have issues to find the perfect lens, as the EOS 80D is built with full-frame cameras in mind. In this case, even the most experienced individuals may struggle a lot. $1,399 is undoubtedly a huge price. Still, if you have enough money and if you want a camera with exceptional value, you will find no better solution than EOS 80D. The camera is absolutely worth every penny. Last on our list is Nikon D850, our choice for the best overall DSLR camera. Until this point in time, you've seen several different cameras that have won their own respective best of categories. But what is the best overall DSLR camera? Which camera is truly the best of the best? The answer is very simple, Nikon D850. This is the best camera that you can get right now, and this is where Nikon improved all the downfalls of its previous models. The price of $3,296 speaks for itself. The backside of this camera comes with a full-frame BSI image sensor with no optical filters. With such an advanced concept, you will barely be able to distinguish between actual reality and shots that you've recorded until that point. The resolution is truly outstanding. With 45.7 pixels, you will get an amazing dynamic range. At the same time, you won't see any moir whatsoever. And what about continuous shooting? Not a problem. D850 can make high quality continuous shots at a steady rate of 9 FPS and with a full AF performance. Of course, D850 is nothing less than great when it comes to video recording. With 4K time lapse recording, you will experience brand new details and sharpness that you've never seen before. The slow motion speed can go up to 120 FPS, which is truly amazing. All you need to do is record one single movie and you will quickly realize why this camera is well above its competitors. Even if the default settings don't please you, you can easily customize them to fit your preferences. While Nikon forgot to add the tilting touchscreen in some of their previous models, they've corrected their mistake here. Other than that, they've improved the battery quality as well. You can be certain that, once fully charged, the battery will last for quite a long time. So, does such an exceptional camera have any downsides? Well, the only real downside is the price itself. It's a shame that not everyone is able to afford it, as this is really a perfect camera for everyone. At this point in time, no other camera is even close to this level of quality. The bottom line is that, if you truly want the best camera on the market, D850 is the only one that you should consider. The value that this camera has to offer is more than superb, and the functionality is unlike anything that Nikon produced thus far. The camera is very expensive, yes, but if you have the money, you will certainly get a product that will last for decades. Alright guys, that is all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to know what the best gear out there is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up to date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I will see you guys later.